Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Laura's Little Library. My name is Laura and today's video is my February bullet journal spread. I am using a new camera that I recently got and so the shot might look a little different. I plan on using this camera mostly for my bullet journal videos. Um, So for this month's theme, I have chosen to do a love letter type theme, so anything that has to do with letters or notes as well as like love, so a lot of hearts. This is of course inspired by Valentine's Day because it's my first February bullet journal spread that I'm doing, so I thought I'd just do something classic, something not super original just to have it done. So the title page is a massive envelope with February in the heart. I learned my lesson when doing this front page to do the color before I outline in black and you'll see why when I cover in February. But the page is a little empty and just a little more free and I, I don't mind it that way. It's got the colors that I'm going to use in the spread but otherwise it's just kind of open and light which is how the spread tends to go. So my first spread in here is the calendar spread. I feel like I've said spread a lot, but I enjoy having the calendar right at the very beginning so that I can just have an overall month view of any readathons that are happening or events that I want to keep track of, reading sprints, ideas, everything like that. It's just nice to have it first and foremost. So as you can see, I actually did little blobs of color before I wrote in February as well as draw the little hearts over top. Um, if I did the black marker or the black pen first, it would smudge onto the color and then it just wouldn't quite look as nice. So I planned out where I'm going to put all the hearts and then I did the color first and that kind of gives it like a little bit of a messy vibe, which I ended up really liking. So there is color outside the heart and not completely fulfilling the heart and it just, I don't know, it clicked with me as something a little more interesting about the spread rather than just your clean cut hearts for February. Then the next two pages that I do are a pair, and that is my TBR and my books read. So again, I'm putting down the colors for each of the envelopes where I'm going to put the heart before I actually write it in. I decided to do the very tall, skinny font for uh, all of my headers for each page, I guess. I really like this font, and I was able to replicate it better than I thought I would. It was kind of a last minute decision. just for fun rather than doing cursive the entire time because that's pretty but I use it a lot and it can get boring pretty quickly so I decided to use the tall thin font. I gave myself six envelopes to for six books that I want to read this month. Hopefully I will read more than that but just in case. And then that way because I am a mood reader I can choose to read more books not necessarily on my TBR just for whatever mood so it's a lot less pressure. And then my book's red spread is a old-fashioned scroll looking because I wanted to kind of diversify the type of love letters so it's not just a bunch of envelopes on every page. So it is an attempt at looking at a scroll. I'm not very artistic, but I definitely tried my best here. And then next to each line that I keep track of all the books that I have read, I do put a little heart that I do not color in. And that is to be colored in when I do post my reviews on Goodreads. And I decided that on the bottom half of the scroll, I was going to have the total amount of books that I read just so it's easier when I'm doing my wrap ups to just kind of see a number rather than count. Because what happened last time was I read more books than I had planets for my January spread. And so I wasn't able 
to count very well how many books I had read. But then next is my ranking spread, and that's the same as last year, or last month, and I enjoy having the spread. I feel like it kind of sits in my journal for most of the month, and then at the very end of the month when I fill it out, it's a lot of fun, and it is very helpful when I do wrap-ups, and I'm sure it will be very helpful when I do end of year type videos. And these are modeled after the little candy hearts, so I've got little messages in the hearts like, uh, love you, kiss me, hugs, and then the envelope at the bottom is the worst book that I read this month. Moving on, it is the books that I want to buy spread. So this is a relatively new one, but I have done it in the past two months, I believe. And this is because of my uh, book allowance that I have been given. And so I tweaked it just a little bit from last month of the organization of things. So this isn't very strong with the um, love note theme, but it is much more functional than it used to be. So I have the amount I'm allowed to spend and how much I've saved, the book I chose for this month or books, and then I have my brainstorm before I have the next two months to plan. Moving on are my social media spreads, so my YouTube planning and my Instagram planning. I am keeping them very similar. YouTube is only slightly different. It allows me to have spaces for all the videos for this month and they are going to be better lined up for when in the week they happen. So I post on Wednesdays and Sundays, so you should definitely subscribe and hit the bell so that you are notified when I post. But then I decided that instead of doing two months worth of video planning, I was going to do only the first two weeks of the next month. That way I know what I'm doing in that transition period, but I'm not tempted to plan ahead or pressured to do two months of videos planning at once. Plus, when I do my March spread, I don't want to just copy and paste what I had from my February spread. So that's what I've decided to do with the big space with brainstorming at the bottom. Instagram is the exact same. It is just, you know, four by three squares for ideas for each post, trying to post three times a week. Um, and I can brainstorm either words or image ideas anything like that. It's pretty simple, pretty explanatory, like not much to it. And then a little area to track my growth on each. I had to flip back to my old spread just to make sure I was getting all of them correctly. But then I decided to add a Twitter spread. I'm going to try and be more active on Twitter. So I'm going to do a daily tracker to make sure that I tweet something every day because there are a lot of cool people on Twitter and a lot of book recommendations and things happening and I want to be more involved so I'm going to challenge myself by keeping this tracker and try and track every day. I also noticed as I was doing this that the hearts were not exactly even because as you can tell I just stopped using my little ruler to keep lines straight because I didn't really care too much and it was a lot more work and effort than if I were to just do an almost straight line freehanded. But the hearts were pretty off so I ended up just changing it a bit with the pen to make them more even and I'll go back and erase it with pencil. And then I have TikTok. I plan to do TikTok videos every week. So I just have simple boxes with brainstorm ideas of what sound to use and what the TikTok is going to be. Again, pretty simple, not super into the theme. This next spread is completely new. It's actually a self-care spread, so it has nothing to do with uh, bookish content, but because I don't keep a personal bullet journal, I only have this bookish one, I decided to just add this in for myself. I don't have enough things that I want to keep track of or do in order to have like my own personal spread, so I just thought, I'll just add it in here. I wasn't even sure I was gonna keep the footage in, but there's no harm. Um, I'm just keeping track of how many days and things that I do for self-care. Um, I'm trying to be more aware of like, taking care of myself, especially on my days off or after a long day of work. I want to keep track of that so that I'm more motivated to actually take care of my mental health as well as my physical health. So 
that's just in there. It's a daily tracker. I think it probably is one of the nicest spreads that turned out. It just looks so much neater and I like the colors in it a lot more. Whereas all the other ones have some element of, oh, I messed this up or this could have looked nicer. So I kept that in. But now I start with the reviews and those are just three lined boxes for the title, the author, the star rating, and the publisher. And it got really, really dark, like the sun set when I was filming, so I just lit some more candles to try and make the lighting a little bit better, because there is not much I can do. We don't have good lighting in our apartment, and when the sun goes down at four o'clock, that's it. That's all you get. So I found more candles. And now it's time for the flip through. Overall, I think this was a fine spread. Like, it's not... There's a lot of white space yet, and I could definitely just add in more colored hearts or more little candy heart designs, but I mean, it looks nice, it's functional, it has a color scheme. There are definitely things that I wish I could have done differently, like chosen a lighter shade of purple rather than this dark one, but you know, it works. I'm happy enough with it. It's gonna serve its purpose, but I'm definitely going to be planning a little bit more when it comes to March. Alright, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like down below, subscribe, hit the bell to be notified, and feel free to leave a comment if you do a bullet journal, what are some of the spreads you've done, or what is the spread you would like me to see or do. But until I see you all in the next video, I wish you Happy reading!